Jerry Sinkoff has led a busy, active life. The renowned architect's projects include the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., and the renovation of Union Station in St. Louis. But one afternoon, his life slowed down. I was out running in the park, and uh, all of a sudden my heart started beating very rapidly, very rapidly. Sinkoff was suffering from atrial fibrillation and would have 20 attacks over the next three years, five of them landing him in the hospital in need of electric shock therapy. It, it would do things to your body and it also would do things to your mind, as I'm sure you can imagine. But a new breakthrough in heart surgery developed at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine changed his life. Atrial fibrillation is the most common arrhythmia in the world. It affects uh, estimated 5 to 6 million Americans and over 10 million people around the world. Dr. Ralph Damiano Jr. helped develop and test a device that radically shortens and simplifies a complex surgical procedure for atrial fibrillation known as Cox Maze. The problem with the Maze procedure, it worked great at curing AFib, but it was so difficult to perform and so invasive, requiring a long period on the heart-lung machine, that very few people um, were referred for the operation, as most of their physicians thought it was just too much for atrial fibrillation. In earlier versions, scars were made by cutting and sewing the heart tissue. The new version, Cox Maze 4, uses radio frequency instead of a scalpel. Using a high-energy clamp, surgeons zap areas of the heart to create scar tissue that redirects irregular signals of the heart in order to reestablish normal heart rhythm. It's cut the operation time in a third. Um, it used to take about over 90 minutes to perform the Maze 3. It now takes under 30 minutes to perform it with these ablation devices. The Cox Maze procedure is recommended for patients who don't respond to medicine or other treatments. But unlike other treatments, it has a 90% cure rate. I would describe it as a life-transforming operation. One that is allowing patients like Jerry Sinkoff to enjoy healthier, happier lives.